Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Hair by Princess Aurora's. My name is Aurora and today I'm gonna to show you how to do a fishtail braid. Now, I ended up going with the same texture as the Heatless Waves video, and that's because I'm just so in love with it. Please, ladies, put away your curling irons, put down your flat irons, and that volumizing hot airbrush blow dryer thing, just, just put it down, put it away. And please, go with your God-given natural texture. It's much prettier than you think. And I mean, just look. I love how it came out with this fishtail braid, just a natural beachy texture. I'm just, I'm so in love with it. And now for what you really came here for, I'm gonna show you how to do a fishtail right now. So because I wanted to make this a side braid, I decided to give her a side parting as well. So I took my Pink Peter Never Let Go Styling Comb and I'm gonna part her hair using the arch of her eyebrow as my guide. I always like to make my parting on the opposite side that I'm gonna have the braid, the side braid, just because I think it's uh, more flattering that way. And I'm also gonna leave out some fringe just to give it a more natural romantic feel to the style. Now I'm gonna separate the back into two equal sections. Now because I wanna make it into a side braid, I'm gonna push all of the hair towards her left shoulder and I'm gonna separate the two sections from there. The best way to describe this braid is that you're basically working with two fine sections. So since I started on the right, I'll go ahead and explain from there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a fine small section from behind the right side and I'm gonna cross it over the right side. So I'm gonna bring it outward, cross it over the right and have it join the left. Then I'm gonna drop the left side. I'm gonna grab a small fine piece from the left side, bring it outward, cross it over the left and have it join the right. And I'm gonna hold whatever section I'm working on with my thumb. And the trick is you have to tighten as you go along or else it will unravel itself.
So when I finished the braid and I was looking at the overall style, I realized that I didn't like the piece of hair that I left out at her ear. So I grabbed my topsy tail tool and I looped the hair through the braid as if I was doing the fishtail braid. So as you can see here, I am finding spots where it looks like it'll blend in and I just pull it through. And I keep to the left side because that piece of hair is from the left side. Well, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to do a fishtail braid. And as you can see, I'm a huge cheerleader for natural texture. You guys already know what buttons to press on Instagram and YouTube, so I'll see you next Thursday. Stay safe out there, count your blessings, and keep it humble. Bye!